Hey guys, I got a really cool video today for you. Um, this is called, well, I'm about to show you what is lossless scaling. Uh, you can see I'm playing uh, uh, Warzone Call of Duty um, on a very old CPU and old GPU, but look at that. Uh, so first thing you got to do is play the game, pick a game that you want to play. And I'm going to show you how to easily double this. Um, so right now, let me go ahead and get into some action for you. But you can see the idea is you need to understand your hardware see what type of uh, FPS it can sustain, a stable FPS. And based on that, we'll be able to see if we're gonna be able to double that or whatnot. So, you know, I'm playing the game. You can see that I'm easily, easily being able to sustain roughly an average of 60 frames per second. Um, again, this is old hardware, and uh, the tool that I'm gonna show you is how to double your FPS with, uh, for essentially little to no cost and you're going to be able to enjoy your games at a higher fps so here we go so i'm just playing around real quick just to show you how it is um, for this software to work you're going to have to set your game mode into um borderless uh, full screen or windled and uh then i'll show you how to uh, you, uh then you're going to make use of your monitor this is also very dependent on your monitor as well uh, whatever your monitor is, say that it's a ooh 144 hertz. Uh, so the half of that would be 72. So you're gonna you're gonna have to use a uh, another program called um, Riva uh, Riva Turner Tuner um, Server Statistic Server, or you can limit your FPS with inside the game, and uh, you'll see the trick in a moment. But I just wanted to show you the regular game play. This is 1080p on a i5-6500 with mashed up with a RX-460, very, very old hardware, but you see I'm able to play modern game titles like this at a decent FPS of our average of 60 frames per second, as you can see. So wanted to prove to you guys that, yeah, you can play on older hardware and you can improve on it if you spend, uh, I think, what, it is $7, $8, a, a little Steam app uh, program so there you go um, I'm gonna keep this kind of short because you can see I'm moving around trying to look for a fight and see if we can get some action here but you can see based on the movement here I'm looking at about 60 average 60 frames per second so I should be able to let me get inside the vehicle here so there you go guys uh, now for the next part of the video I'm going to show you uh, the proof on how you can double this using the same hardware Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you the trick. Uh, so I have a 144 hertz monitor, but this game uh, is more playable stably at 60 frames per second. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my settings. Let's see, settings. Oh, sorry. Oh, that should be. So go to your display and go down over here to advanced display settings. And you can see that I have 144 hertz, but I'm actually going to bring this down to 120 hertz. Because I would like to be able to uh, take my 60 frames per second uh, stable uh, FPS in um, Warzone and be able to double that using the program. So next thing I want to do is bring out my, oops, bring out this guy right here. This is the... Um, uh, the Riva Turner, Tuner Statistics Server, uh, and now I'm going to limit my my um, my uh, my game's FPS. So give me a moment to do that. Okay, so I found my Call of Duty executable. Um, I had to go into my Steam, and basically you add this as a uh, application profile properties. So I have it added here, and then what I'm going to do here, it's a little hard to see, but you're going to go to a frame rate limit. So I'm going to increase this or set it to 60 FPS and then hit enter. And then I should get my game capped at that. Uh, it's going to be limited. So now I'll be able to do the little trick that I was showing you. Not sure why it's going above 60. So maybe this is not the way you want to do it. Let me figure it out, guys. Okay, guys. So um, instead of doing it via the Rivia Tuner, like I was showing you, um, capping the FPS, I went actually into the game and I capped the FPS in the game itself. So just really quickly, graphics uh, over here where it says uh, custom uh, fra rate frames per second limit, I set it all to 60. 
And now, um, one thing to note is that um, the, so if you look in the, uh, you can't see it here, but if you look in the upper left corner, I'm actually having 111 FPS, even though my MSI Afterburner, uh, Rivia Tuner statistics server is actually showing like 40, 50 frames per second. I'm actually getting 115. I'm going to see if I can move my camera so you guys can see it. It's over here displayed right there in the upper left corner. It says 116, 115. So there you go. So um, I'm, I'm now able to play uh, uh, Warzone Call of Duty. On this, just ignore the lower. Uh, I did this test in Fortnite, and in MSI Afterburner, actually accurately displayed the 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 frames per second as it should be. But I just wanted to show you. Now look how smooth my game is. Um, again, the graphics card is only providing about you know what it says in the bottom left corner, forty fifty one. But what happens is with the lossless um, scaling. Let me show you real quick this little app right here that costs only seven eight dollars. Um, I have the frame generation, the LSFG, um, currently running in the background and I am getting close to 120 frames per second on average. Uh, it's very smooth compared to what I was playing earlier. So if you don't want to upgrade your hardware and you you have a lower end hardware, old PC, like I'm playing on right now and you want to save money, then this is definitely what you'll want to do is uh, invest seven, eight dollars and you'll be able to play your, your favorite games on a high FPS. Uh, so again, you have to be realistic, have the right settings, see what is stable for you in the game. And again, I would disregard the MSI Afterburner right there. It's not really accurate, but let me just go over here. From what I see on the upper left corner, you can see, I, I can see at least, oh, I'm getting attacked. Let's see. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I got distracted here. But um, anyway, and I am uh, doing this alone. So anyway, um, I can show you right here in the upper uh, upper corner again. I just died. So here's the kill cam. Somebody sniped me. Um, but there you go. Um, uh, over a, uh, close to 120 FPS from the original 60 frames per second that I showed you initially. So, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. I, I, again, it goes on a game by game basis. Uh, this acts like an overlay and, and the actual reflected FPS number that we're interested in is here in the upper left corner. Like I did say in, in Fortnite, I will try to do, uh, show you guys that, uh, the MSI Afterburner does show here, but in Call of Duty, it seems like it's not accurate. The, 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 the MSI Afterburner statistics at the bottom left corner. So, but anyway, just wanted to show you a really cool lossless scaling app that can actually uh, let you double your frames per second. So let me see if I can do Fortnite real quick so I can prove to you guys. It's the same thing that I we just experienced here in, in Call of Duty. Okay, guys, like I promised, um, I'm still experiencing the same situation Fortnite. The other day, yesterday, again, this is very tricky. It's still a beta this lossless scaling app is is still in beta, so um, they haven't gotten around to uh, having MSI Afterburner uh, implemented within it, so you can accurately see. But it, I capped my my Fortnite at seventy two frames per second, and again, like I showed you in Call of Duty, if you look in the upper left corner, I'm I'm double that. I'm at one hundred and forty four. Again, you know these games like Call of Duty. Um, Fortnite uh, is very reliant on the number of players in the game and uh, latency. So, you know, ideal. But look at this. I'm playing Fortnite and I was playing Call of Duty Warzone on a very old system. Let's see. All right. So let me go ahead and just it's really smooth. Look how smooth it is. Again, you're not going to fully appreciate it. Because, again, this videos, most videos that are uploaded are 60 frames per second. But I can tell you from the upper left corner, and again, disregard the MSI Afterburner, but I'm getting doubled my stable frame rate. And again, this is only going to work if you set your game mode to borderless full screen or windled. So again, it does say 72, but if you look that up here in the upper left corner, this is the accurate, this is the actual accurate frames per second, 144, 143. So it's really smooth. And this is the same thing that's happening in Call of Duty. Look how smooth that is. Look at that. That's that's really nice. Amazing how this old hardware, 
you know, you can find a stable FPS. Imagine you're playing a game that you really like demanding. You only get 30 frames per second, but hey, you can double that to 60 frames per se second, and then it's way beyond more than playable than before. So just wanted to show you guys the, the, cool, the, the coolness behind this lossless scale app. Only seven to eight bucks, and you can double your FPS. Look how smooth that is. Again, I'm able to appreciate it because I play these games a lot, and I'm able to see the difference. You know, I, this monitor that I have is 144 frames per second, so I'm making full use of it using this app. And again, just to show you here, um, this is the app, Lossless Scaling. And the actual little utility the, is this guy right here, so I can unscale it. They also have a scaling, I mean, uh, a frame generation, I mean. So you can see right now, now it now this seems choppy. For me, this seems choppy. I don't know if you're able to notice it in the camera, but it's pretty choppy, as I can see, because now I'm, I'm limited to 70, uh, 72 frames per second. And you can see up here in the upper left corner, I don't have my, my frames per second, accurate frames per second uh, calculation from the actual lossless scale. Um, so... Uh, okay, there we go. And so it, it is, you know, it's, it's not as smooth as before. But now when I go back and I scan this and I activate my window that I wanted to do the scaling or the frame generation scaling. Give it a moment and there you go. Again, you can only see this in 30 frames per second. I see the difference. I definitely see the difference. Uh, somebody's, oh, somebody's here and I'm in trouble. Let me see if I can get out of this trouble right here. Oh. All right, so yeah, yeah, so let me let me run away from this guy. But you see, again, don't disregard the frames per second. If I can, I'm gonna do more testing on across different games. But um, let me see. So, but yeah, look at that, uh, really smooth. Let me see if I can get out of here. But I do wanna show you guys the upper left corner. Again, these games, are, are sometimes difficult to get a constant frame per second. So let's see if I can get this here. All right, there we go. Let me just, okay, now I can just grab my phone and just gl gl glide here, but you can see the frames per second here, 144 essentially. And I'm about to die, which is fine because I, I, I'm, I, <laughs> I got this, uh, oh, all right. All right, so anyway, there you go. You can see the frames per second right there, 144. And uh, again, disregard the uh, MSI afterburner here stats, but the number that really matters is here. So there you go, guys. Some evidence uh, of this lossless. Give it a try in different games. Let me know if you have any questions. I am gonna do a more detailed video on how to set it up, um, but that's this is this is the best I can do for now. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next video.